Hi, I'm Cynthia for Arbis.com and I will show you how to use this amazing tool called the Cobra Coiler. So here is the Cobra Coiler and it's a very easy tool to use and uh, for easy purpose we mounted it on a piece of board here but you can easily just take the tool and clamp it on your table. So you have two sides of mandrel and I'm going to use the bigger mandrel that will be easier to show you and you place it in the chunk and you tie it and you have a little key here that will help you to tie the mandrel inside. I think that's pretty strong. And I'm going to show you how to make this coil here. And you can use that, uh, you can cut the coil after and make jump ring or you can make beads like that that I did on this brass set and I think it's, it's pretty cool just use it, it has like a, a metallic feeling. So let me show you how to use this tool and I'm going to use first a 24 gauge wire and so there are two ways that you can start. You can push the wire until you feel like it stop but if you don't want to lose that much wire you can just go a little um, closer here. You don't have to put it in the back and I bend it a little here and I'm going to hold my thumb against the wire and push it and I'm just turning the handle like that. So I'm pushing with my thumb and I'm turning at the same time. And it's that easy. I just love it because look how fast it's going. And I could do that forever. So for you, you have to uh, take more wire out of your bobbin and then you keep going, keep going. And don't forget to put pressure on your thumb because the wire is very thin and um, it can not sometimes it wraps the, the wrong way so I keep going and then I can take this core very easily out of it I have the mandrel I'm gonna cut the wire like that so now I'm gonna show you how to make that bead and um, I made this little bracelet here so I use the 24 gauge uh, to make the smaller bead here. So now I'm taking a 20 gauge wire and I'm putting my coil inside the 20 gauge. Let me grab pull some wire a little more. So I'm going to start by making a few coils like maybe five I think that will be plenty and then you bring your coil closer to the mandrel and you're gonna go very slowly and turn and I'm pushing at the same time like that and then and then I'm gonna finish like that and you cut your wire and here I have a bead. Like that. So that was very easy to do. I made a short one, but you can make a longer one too. And then I want to show you how to make some coal with some beads on it. So here I already strung on the 24 gauge wire, I strung some uh, seed beads, 11 art. And I do exactly the same. So I'm gonna start by putting my bead, uh, my wire uh, inside the mandrel. I'm gonna do few, few calls like that. And then I'm bringing my beads closer to the mandrel. So this one is a little, I, I won't say tricky, but you need to pay attention. So I'm, I'm pushing on my bead here and I'm turning the handle at the same time. So I'm kind of, I, I kind of guide the bead at the same time, like that. And I'm going to add some more. So you just push the bead close to the mandrel. You hold the beads here and you push them at the same time and guide a little your wire. Like that. Okay, and I'm going to finish that. And there, I can cut my wire. Did you see how it was so easy to take the uh, the coil out of the mandrel? I just I really love that. 
So you can keep that and make a necklace out of it, or you can do something a little fancier and put in another piece of wire and coil it again. And I made those pair of earrings like that. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And now I'm taking a 20 gauge uh, wire and I'm going to put my beaded coil inside. Oh, went the wrong way. There we go. Start with some few coils like before. And now I'm pushing this beaded coil inside and I'm just turning again. And I keep going. Like that. Now I can cut the wire. And here, so this one I didn't do a lot of beads, so you see how it's pretty small. So you need to add more beads on your coal if you want uh, something more like that. So this is how to use the Cobra Coiler. Um, it's really a fun tool, it's very easy to use, and I hope you will enjoy it and play with it like I did. So thank you very much for watching.